Hello and welcome to this demo of GoGlobal's branding feature that allows you to customise your end user interface with your corporate logo, names and images. GoGlobal from Graphon provides reliable, secure, low-cost multi-user access to Windows applications from any location, device or operating system. Hi, I'm Andy Leonard and in this video I'm going to show you the new branding feature in GoGlobal. First thing we need to do is open the GoGlobal admin console. Then we just go to Tools branding. Once a branding dialog opens, as you can see here, there's four tabs. The signing dialog, two-factor authentication dialogs, program window, and app controller. In this video, I'm just going to show you the three. So I'm not going to show you the two-factor authentication dialogs. We'll cover that in a, in a separate video. So the first tab here is signing dialog. And from here, you can customize certain fields as you can see here on the left hand side. So we've got title bar text, sign in to text, username field label, password field label, sign in button label, cancel button label and an image. The second tab you can brand is a program window tab. So we click on the program window and you can see here the various fields that are customizable. So we have title bar text, and then we can display the host name in the title bar, or we can turn that off. And that will basically display the name of the host here. So this is GGW-2019. Now if we want to, we can select a logo, so we can click the three dots here, and we can select a logo that we can use in the title bar. Then we have display help topics menu item, so we can either display the help topics or we can turn it off. And then if we have it on, we can have a about menu item text, about dialogue title bar text, and then we can have a background image. So by default, we already have a background image that gets installed with Go Global. And then this can be aligned in the screen. So either horizontally, center, left and right, or vertically, center, top and bottom. Then on user basis, you know, if you want to, you can allow users to select different options in their program window. So they can turn off different control bars, different colors if they want to, um, advanced choice modes, and details views. You can also just turn this off by clicking this box here, and then they won't be able to do this on a user-based session. And then if you want to, we can restore defaults. So the last tab I want to show you is the app controller. App Controller is the unbranded, customizable application that can be started from a computer's desktop, a mobile device, or web browser. App Controller can be branded with a company name, a product name, the installer prefix, installed instructions, and then a product logo. So you can select a product logo here of, of your choice, and also a background image. And the background image will be the image that's on the back of the web browser itself. And this can be scaled or, or centered depending on what you want to do. And then you can click on Restore Defaults, which it puts it back to you know, how it was, how it was out of the box um, installed with the Go Global brand. So now I've showed you the three tabs you can brand in the Go Global admin console. We now will go to the Go Global client here, which is a Windows 10 machine. And you can see I've opened Firefox up for the first time, and I'm a user connecting to my host for the first time to install the Go Global web application. So I've connected to my Go Global host, I've connected to the virtual directory, which is Go Global, and I've connected to the logon.html file. So from the app controller tab that we were looking at earlier, you know, you can see that the first line was company name. So by default, the company name is Go Global, which you can see at the top left hand corner here. Then we have product name, which is along the top here, Go Global, and then app controller. Then we have the installer prefix, which is in this instance is download Go Global App Controller, and then the installed instructions, which will appear in a second. And then we have the product logo, which the logo here is the Go Global logo, and then the background image. So this is the default background image that gets installed with the product. When I click download here, you now will see it says run the installer once, it's, a, it's downloaded, approve app controller. So this part here is installer instructions, and then you'll see here it says goglobal.appcontroller.exe. So the goglobal part here is installer prefix. 
So once I click Save File, you know, it's now saved. I click on Open File. Then I'll install the Go Global web app. It then asks me, do I want to use the app controller to launch the application? So I click on Open Link. And now we have the Sign In dialog box. So referring back to the Sign In dialog box branding section, you know, here we have Sign In. We have Sign In to GGW 2019. We have Username, Password, Sign In, and Cancel. And we have our Go Global logo here. So if we sign in, you can now see the program window appear. So from the program window here, again looking at the program window, customizable fields. You know, we have the title bar text, which is Go Global. And then we have the background image, which is by default with this G here. And then you have the help, and it says about Graph on Go Global. So now I've shown you what it looks like once Go Global is installed and how the branding looks for a default install. I'm now going to show you what it looks like when I customize these fields for the branding section using my own brand. So for this, I'm going to use Brazilian Portuguese to show you the localization and the difference between that and what it looks like when it's out of the box. As you can see, I've just put my own company name in the title bar text and I've just translated each of the fields into Brazilian Portuguese. So I've translated sign in to, username, password, sign in, and cancel. Then I'm going to select an image for the sign in dialog box. So we hit the three dots, select an image, and then press open. And then it shows you a display or a preview of the image here. So the next tab I want to show you is the program window tab. So again, you know, here I've put the title bar text as my company name. I'm then going to put a title bar icon. So hit the three dots, select a icon file, press OK. Then on the about menu, I'm going to again put my company name, my company name again. Then I'm going to change, change this background image to the image I want to select for my company. And again, it gives you a preview here of what the image looks like. And you can, you know, horizontal align this or vertical align this. So the last tab I want to show you is the app controller. So again, you know, I've put my company name in, I've put my product name in, I've put the installer prefix in, and I've put installed instructions in. So I put this into Portuguese. Then I'll do my product logo. And then I'm also going to put a background image here. And again, it shows you a preview of the image here. Once I've done this, I click on OK. So now when we filled in the three tabs in the branding section in the Go Global Admin Console with our company name, now we're back to the client machine and here you can see the difference. So on the top left hand corner here, you, know, you now can see your company name, um, also the company name here with App Controller and also the logo here that I put in. And then you can see the new background here, which is my company um, background. So if I hit download now, you know, now I can see the install instructions here, and then you can see the executable name is my company name, appcontroller.exe. So I save the file. Then you just need to open the file to run the installer. Once the installer is installed, you'll now see the sign-in box again. So here you can see now all the branding's changed which you customize you know, in the Go Global Admin Console. So you can see your company names here on the top left hand corner. You know, the logo you selected is here. And also you can see you know, the username, the password, the sign in and cancel button have been localized, like I showed you in the customizable fields in the branding section. Once we enter our credentials, we click on sign in. Now you can see the program window that has been customized. So the top left hand corner here is the logo you selected under the program window in the branding section. And also there's my company name here, which is the title bar text. If I go to help here, you know, now it says my company name instead of about Graphon. And then if I click on the company name, you now can see the about dialog text bar text. 
that I changed to my company name. For more information about Go Global or to download the 30-day free trial, visit us www.graphon.com.